Alright, so right now we're watching one of the WVB or WWB time stations on 10 MHz. Uh, it's a US time station uh, and also frequency standard. So uh, it's a good indicator that uh, the radio is working. So what I'm using to receive this is a DVB uh, minus T dongle, $20 on eBay. And it can only listen down to about 40 MHz. So what I've done is I've uh, built a simple up converter. So right here we have the HF audio, com uh, HF uh, radio waves coming in from a, a large antenna outside, a wire antenna, and it's going through a low pass filter. It's a fifth order Butterworth, 30 megahertz low pass, uh, low pass filter. It keeps the wideband FM stations out. You know, local music stations they're quite strong, so they end up playing havoc with the radio. I get the filtered output into this cable which comes in to this mixer. This is a mini circuits uh, quite wideband uh, mixer. So I have a 50 megahertz oscillator right here just built with dead bug style so it looks kind of uh, looks ugly but it works. And uh, that oscillator feeds into the mixer as well as the uh, HF radio waves at 10 megahertz and uh, I get plus and minus uh, the 50 megahertz so I get 40 megs out and I get 60 megahertz out so uh, I'm actually listening to the WVB, or uh, one of the time stations, on, uh, on 60 megahertz. And uh, that lets me actually use this, this dongle here uh, for HF work. And it works quite well, measured down uh, to quite a low uh, signal level. So it, I'm pretty surprised with the, the quality of how it works. Uh, this is just a LM785 uh, voltage uh, regulator, 5 volt regulator. Just lets me power off any supply I want. Right now I'm using a little battery, 12 volt battery. And uh, this is all made out of junk parts. I actually pulled off the uh, the magnet wire from the power supply tour ride I had in a junk box. So, goes to show you this stuff will work and not much effort. <laughs> 